morning. All right, so let me tell you what's going on with the Kodak, all right? If you haven't looked at the news, uh, they just got almost a billion dollar uh, billion dollars regarding about uh, a grant regarding – first, I didn't even know this, that Kodak does this. I thought We always think of Eastern Kodak as the Polaroid cameras, but they're in blockchain. They're obviously in here in New York, and they're doing something with their drugs or something like that. So they're in the drug business. So Kodak is really a what they call a conglomerate means they own multiple businesses. And the stock has really has not done well in a long, long time. So anyway, just kind of reiterate how, what happened with this Kodak trade. So um, I know some people like are not fans of watching TV. You know, they're like, eh, I'm not really a TV guy, whatever it is. Listen, you are in the business and you just can't depend on us to tell you what's going on to broadcast the news. So I'm watching Fox business and all of a sudden I see Kodak coming out. I'm like, what's the news? I'm on my... I log in early. And meanwhile, if you see right here, let me bring the, you could see right here at 730 stock was at six. The thing was at $2. It looked in, I mean, let me just check this chart right here. I, I haven't seen this in a while, but this thing started literally around six o'clock in the morning and was right at $3. Look, it just kept going up, going up, going up. I, we didn't get into like eight o'clock. Okay. And like, it was like, damn, I mean, we're going to pay that much for the stock. So anyway, as I have Fox business news on the, um, Navarro, uh, one of President Trump's uh, 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 people on his cabinet, uh, who does all, does all these deal things regarding with the with the drugs and and coronavirus stuff, he was, he he got on. He was talking about it that there's this big news coming out, and it just happened to be in the right place at the right time. So he was literally just bragging about this deal they did with Kodak, 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 Kodak. Now listen, guys, I'm like, listen. You like you like the president, you hate the president, you love Obama, you hate Obama. It doesn't matter. You know what you love? Making money. Okay. And be, you know, because he's the president now, things that he do is going to move the market, especially being in a pandemic. Okay. So here they are talking about Kodak. What am I gonna do? Short the damn stock, right? Because you know, the guy came on it. Listen, that is being ignorant. I'm doing yourself a favor. Um, there's gonna be a Democrat president one day, there's gonna be another Republican president. There's going to be uh, there's going to be companies that you can't stand. You could see that Elon Musk left California and moved to Texas, and you're going to be like, "I'm never going to buy a Tesla ever." Yeah, great. How'd that work out for you? You want to short it? You should have shorted this stock when it was at 300. Let me know how that's working out for you now when it's at 1500. You okay? Because remember, that's when he actually made the made the announcement he was leaving California. So but you got to remember, you got to think as a trader. You can't you you can't fall in love with these companies, and you can't be vindictive on these companies because you'll get crushed. And and anyway, my point I'm getting to, he's on TV, he's talking about it. Boom, the stock just literally started going off. And usually when, a, when when somebody talks about their company, talks about a company, they usually reverse when the interview is over. And I did mention that earlier. I said, you know what, let me see if it does reverse. Never reversed, okay? So when he was done with the interview, right around here, around 750, look, the stock ran in $9. So that alone was a nice buck 50 move. But that really wasn't, that really wasn't the best trade of the day. Okay. The best trade of the day was the Fran. Fran at, look at, at eight, at eight o'clock when we called out, the thing was $5 and 50 cents. The thing ran to 10. Okay. The stock just literally was on fire. Now, if you go back and you look at Fran, I just want to bring this back and just show you something pretty cool. This stock back in, in 1718, this was about a $250 stock, okay? So when you think of like you missed the boat, you could see we did trade the stock several times. A lot of you remember the stock. We did trade it. Uh, we had this little, we had we had a couple of spikes over here. It was a year before. Uh, right here, you can see a stock went from four to ran to 20. So Fran, I think, has got a lot of big move to go. I would keep a very close eye on this Fran going into the open. All right, so Fran is a, a, a two stocks. So Fran and Kodak definitely you want to keep a close eye on it.